Welcome to another Financially Fabulous episode. I'm Lee Moore, and I gotta tell you, you do not need to be a financial planner to be crushing it with your finances. I'm not. In today's episode, I'm gonna be talking about how to save money in just five minutes a month. Come on, this'll be fabulous. I know, you're all wondering how to save more money. We all are. And with just five minutes every single month, you can actually save yourself a lot of money. And what you need to do for those five minutes is to review all of your accounts and review all of your bills. Now, I know that feels kind of simple and being like, oh, how do more? How is that actually gonna save me money? But it does. There's two reasons why reviewing all of your bills makes a difference and saves you money. The first one is that it allows you to catch any mistakes. And the second one is that it gives you a real reality dose of how much you're actually spending. The first way is catching mistakes. And I know you probably think that they don't happen all that often, but they actually do. Lots of different kinds of mistakes can occur on all of your banking and all of your transactions. You can char get charged overage fees without actually going over. You can have your charges duplicated. I've had that happen a couple of times. You know, when you go to the store and you buy something and the person who's working in behind the desk, behind the, the cash register doesn't really know what they're doing and they bring it through twice. I've had that happen quite a number of times. Also, if you've got recurring billing, so maybe it's a gym membership, maybe it's a subscription, and you cancel it, sometimes it can take them quite a few months to stop charging your account. So you might have just thought, oh, well, I did my bit. I called them and I said, cancel my whatever it is. But they may still be charging you for several months after. So if you check your account and you notice that, you can give them a call and they can reverse it. Another example, and this one actually happened to me just about three months ago, is there was an education company where I had bought a series of courses, things that I was learning how to do for my business. And because they had my credit card on file because I had made the purchase online, in the month of December, so just a few months back, they actually charged my card $1,000 for an education program that I didn't sign up. Now, at least they were really, really good because as soon as I messaged them after the fact and said, hey, I didn't buy anything, they apologized profusely and reversed the charge. But actually, just as another additional note, when they reversed the charge, the conversion from US dollars to Canadian dollars resulted in me not even getting as much as they had initially charged. So of course I went back and I made a fuss and I said, hold on, you fraudulently charged me $1,000. Just because the conversion rate was lower when you refunded me doesn't mean that I shouldn't get that money back. And then they actually gave me some extra money for even the compensation of doing that. But this was a company that I trusted that I had bought purchases from and courses from previously. And so if I hadn't have double checked, I wouldn't have noticed that they had charged me an extra thousand dollars. Also, it's important to check your accounts regularly and check your bills regularly in case fraud occurs. Now, in the current day and age, it happens far more frequently than any of us really want to admit, but fraudsters and hackers uh, are, are breaking into accounts in, in record amounts. And so what I recommend is just that you take a look. Now, most banks and most credit card companies have pretty good policies because if you bring it to their attention right away, then they will actually refund you the money and they'll open up a case. But this happened to my sister not too long ago when she went into the bank and let them know right away what had happened. They thanked her so much for coming in right away and actually had said that if it had been going on for several months, they would have only been able to refund her for the last three months. So of course, every bank and every credit card company has a different different policy, but if you check on a regular basis, if you something comes up or there's fraudulent charges, they'll be able to stop the issue right away and be able to refund you. So if you find that there is an issue on one of your accounts, go into the bank, call the financial institution, and they'll be able to take care of it for you. But if it's been going on for months and months and months and you never actually checked your account, well, they won't be able to refund you for all the transactions for however long it's been. So just make sure that you stay right on top of it. Another reason why you're gonna wanna spend that five minutes every single month to check all of your bills and all of your transactions is because it's a really good reality check. 
You may be thinking, ah, what's this? Five bucks here, 10 bucks here, $20 here. What's one more sweater, one more piece of jewelry? But then all of a sudden you get your bill and if you haven't gone through it and been like, <gasps> you may find yourself in a tricky situation. So if you're checking on an ongoing basis, you get a better feel for how much money you're spending, how much money you have, and you'll be more likely to think about and really consider a transaction or a purchase before you actually make it. That brings me to my tweetable today. Just five minutes reviewing your accounts can save you a great deal of money. So here is my challenge to you. If you're currently not reviewing all of your bills or all of your credit card statements line by line, I highly recommend that you do that. Make it as part of your current bill payment process. So when you go to pay all of your bills online, just add this one extra step, taking a few minutes to look through and skim through it, make sure that everything makes sense. Make sure that you know all of the stores or all of the locations where you're making your purchases and make sure that everything seems in line with what you're spending. And if you look at it and it still looks crazy high and you actually made all of those transactions, well, then you may want to think twice about the next purchases that you're going to be making. And the next time you just say, meh, it's no big deal. It's just 10 to more dollars. Did you like this video? Did you learn something? Do me a favor and subscribe to my channel. It's free and share it with your friends. And if you want even more tips and tricks to make your finances fun and exciting, come on over to leemore.money. I've got lots of great resources for you to download for free. Remember, I'm not here to change who you are or how you live your life. I just have strategies to make you even more financially fabulous. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you next time. Till then, stay fabulous. You know how many five minute increments there are in a 24 hour period? Hmm, that's a lot of money that I can save. I could do this while I'm watching TV. I could do this while I'm on Facebook.